Hey guys, so today I have a super, super collective haul from Ulta, Sephora, Forever 21, and Charlotte Russe. And this is super collective. This is over like the past like two months. So I do kind of have a lot to show you. But yeah, I wanted to see really quick that I bought all this with my own money. My mom bought me a dry shampoo and makeup movers that I will show you. But the rest I bought with my own money. And I've been saving for a really long time because I haven't just like went out and bought products just to try them. Like, whenever I buy makeup, it's just because I ran out. I haven't just went out and bought products just to try them in a really long time. So, I kind of went crazy recently. So, I will start off with makeup, and then I'll go into clothes. So, I'm going to start off with Ulta, and then I'll go into Sephora. So, Ulta, and I have a lot to show. So, again, this is what I was talking about. The Batiste Dry Shampoo, the wild one, is my favorite. So, I got that because I ran out. And then the Neutrogena Makeup Removers. This is, like, 25, and then it has a little mini of 7 in the back. And then I'll show you some like boring little products first. So I got an EOS in Sweet Mint because um, I used mine up and then I like lost it so I can't even show it in an empties video but yeah, don't know what happened to that. And then I bought this Nivea lip butter, the vanilla one because I love the smell of vanilla stuff so I got that. Okay, oh and then I also got this Jack Black lip balm thing. Because I think I heard about it from Beauty Baby 44, but I'm not sure. And it's a really, really good lip balm. It was only like $7.50. I thought it was going to be like really expensive, but it wasn't. So I'm going to do face products, and then I'll get into like eye and lips of her face. Um, first I got Professional because mine is like almost gone, and I just haven't been using it lately because I don't want to run out of it. So I got a backup so that I can start using that again. Um, I decided to get a Tarte foundation because I really wanted one that would be like full coverage. So this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour. And this is an ivory. And the packaging is flawless. Like it's flawless. So. And then today I use the Benefit Hella Flawless Oxygen Wow. And this is in I'm So Money Honey. Which is like the cutest name ever. And I love Benefit's packaging. So. This is it. I think it is so cute and it has like a pump and I really like this. And again, like I said, I'm wearing it today and I really like it. It's not heavy, it's not cakey, and it gives pretty good coverage. So I really like that. And I'm not saying prices because I will say prices for the clothes but not the makeup because whenever I say prices, people add it all up and comment it at the bottom. They're like, this is ridiculous. So, And it's the most annoying thing ever. So I'm not saying prices because I literally hate when people do that. Um... And then I got Benefit Boing Concealer, and this is the first shade because I'm a ghost. And I don't know why this isn't really talked about because this is a really good concealer. I used it today, and I love it. So seriously, this is, like, amazing. I really recommend trying that out. Oh, then I picked up the NYX HD one. I've had this concealer, but now it's too dark for me, so I just picked up the shade Lighter. And this is a really good concealer. Um, and then I got the Benefit... Bigger Than Baby, I got this like a few weeks ago, so I don't I still have the packaging, but it's just like the Bigger Than Baby Big Easy. It's like a pretty new product. I got the third shade because there was like no difference between the second and third shade, so I figured I would get the third because it would fit me in summer. And I don't know why I just opened it, but this is a really good BB cream. It feels super light on your skin, and you get pretty good coverage, and it's like a liquid to powder, so I really like that. Um, Then... I got, okay, I'm actually really mad about this, but I got the Too Faced Endless Summer 16 Hour thing because they were, like, out of so many Too Faced bronzers, and it has really pretty packaging, though, like, it's really pretty, and it just looks like that, and I smelled the one, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is the one that smells like cocoa, so I reached back right behind it and grabbed this bronzer, and I came home, and this one doesn't smell like cocoa, so... I don't know, I think the tester was, like, in the wrong spot. Like, the cocoa one was, like, the tester was where this was supposed to be. So I grabbed this, and then I came home, and it doesn't even smell like cocoa. But I'm going to try it out. I used it yesterday, and it was okay. Like, it's a little, little shimmery, but you can't really see the shimmer on your face. So I'm going to keep that for days when I don't want to use the product I'm going to show you right now. So I picked up Benefit Hula Bronzer because it's so raved about. And it comes with, like, a little brush. But it's so raved about. And I've been using my NYC one. And it's, like, all cracked. And it was, like, $2 or $3 or something. And that's a really good bronzer if you want a drugstore one. 
but I've been using that one and I was like obviously like because I didn't want to invest in one just because I thought that it was a phase and that like I was going to stop using bronzer soon but I've been using it for like literally at least three months and I really like bronzer so I decided to invest in one and I use this the past two days and I really really like it and then I got Benefit Dandelion because I have Sugar Bomb and I really like it so I decided to get Dandelion because it goes with like every makeup look and it's just like super neutral light pink and it's so pretty and I really really like that um, I'm wearing it today um then is that all for face I think that's everything for face but I'm sorry if I forgot anything I'll show it at the end um then for eyes I picked up the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner because Jasmine has this and she's obsessed with it and she told me to get it so I did and yeah, I haven't used it yet but I've heard really good things about it so I'm super excited to try that out and then I got a few mascaras so I got the Benefit They're Real because I've had so many minis of this and I was like okay Rachel like you just need to get the full size so I did and it's like this and it's a really really good mascara am I the only person that does this but when I first get products even if I use them like for the first like three times I use it I put them like back in the packaging like is that just me but I literally do that. So this is a really good mascara. That's what the brush looks like. And I really, really recommend this if you're looking for a new mascara and you're willing to invest in one. And then I got the Urban Decay Super Curl Curling Mascara because I'm using the mini right now. This is a mini. And I wanted to buy it full size while I was at Ulta because I love the mini. So I really recommend this mascara. I really like it personally. Um, then... Um, this again I got a while ago, but it's just the Benefit Longwear Powder Eyeshadow and Call My Buff, and it's like, it's honestly one of the only colors that I like from this collection for like all over my lids, so I got that and I really like it. Oh, and then I got a Crease Cream Shadow when I got that as well, and this is in Bikini Teeny, and that's the color. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot to mention this. This is a face product I forgot. It's the NYX Day Matte But Not Flat. Um, foundation. This is okay, but I won't repurchase it. So I got the Urban Decay Eye Primer in Sin. And I got this for me. And then I picked up one for Brooke because um, I've been wanting this for a really, really long time. And I was like, okay, Rachel, just buy it. So I bought it. And then Brooke, every single time we go to Ulta, she looks at it. And she never really buys high-end makeup, so she always like talks herself out of it. So I was like, I'm just going to get it for her. So I did. Um. Okay, then... Okay, Madison convinced me to get the Tarte Lip Surgeon, like, energy one, and it, like, changes with, like, the heat of, like, your lips and stuff, so, so that's called, like, energy, and I really, really, really like, like this and recommend it a lot, and she lost hers, so I decided to surprise her and get one for her because she loved it, and she talked about it all the time, and she convinced me to buy it, and I really liked it, so I was like, I'm gonna go for Madison, because I'm just so nice. Okay, and then I picked up, I really experimented with Tarte. Okay, I got three Tarte Amazonian Butter Lipsticks because I bought one, like, a, like when I first went to Ulta, like, a while ago, and I really liked it, so I went, like, a few days ago and picked up two more. So the first one I got was Angelic Nude. I'm just going to show you the top, and they have really pretty packaging. And then I got Golden Pink and Watermelon, which is, like, a super bright pink, and I love it, so... I love these lipsticks. I really recommend them. And then I got three of the Tarte Lip Surgeons as well. So um, these two are matte, Lucky, and Hope. And they just look like that. This is Lucky. This is Hope. And then this one isn't matte. And this is Elite. And it's a really bright pinky coral. And I really, really like that one. Um, I picked up two Nika Glosses. This one I got a while ago. And it's in Liar. And I love it so much so I decided to pick up another one and this is Love Child and it's like a bright pink and this one's more of like a yeah you can see it okay but I really really like both of these I'll kind of like show you the end of it so you can like see the difference and I really really like these a lot so I really recommend the naked glosses they're so good and then I got two of the Benefit Ultra Plush lip glosses and I love these these aren't even talked about but they're so good. Like, I seriously really like them. Um, Jasmine thought they were sticky, but I don't at all. So, this one is Fomance. And it's really, really pretty. 
I really like that one. And this one is called Lollibop. And it's like a bright pink. And I really like that one. So I really like these lip glosses. And I recommend you go to Ulta and like try them out. Because they're really good. I love the packaging. So really recommend those. And then I just got two NYX Butter Glosses. Because I love the NYX Butter Glosses. So I got Maple Blondie and Peach Cobbler. Because I thought this one would be really pretty in the summertime. So I picked up those. That's everything I got at Ulta. And then... Sephora. Sephora. Okay. So, I actually got quite a bit here. Okay. So, the first thing I picked up was Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha? Okay, Rachel. Cha-Cha tint. And when this first came out, I hated it. I thought it was, like, really ugly and orange. And I was like, why would I want, like, an orange product like this? But I swatched it, and it is so pretty. It's, like, a corally orange color. And it will be so pretty in the summertime. Like, I'm not kidding. I think it's so pretty. So, I really like this, so I decided to pick that up. And I have High Beam and Posy Tint, and I really like both of them. So, so I can't getting that. Then I got Coralie stuff from Benefit, and I love this one. I wanted this one, but they were out of it in my old time. Me and Jasmine literally went there twice, and they were out of it both times. So, they had it at Sephora today, and I was so excited. I was like, I'm definitely getting it. And I love the packaging. I love this product. It's just so beautiful. Love it. Um, I got the Too Faced Lashgasm. I don't want to open this yet just because, like, I don't want it to dry out. Because I don't know when I'm actually going to start using it. But that's kind of the brush. You can kind of see it a little bit. And if you want, you can look um, on Ulta and look the Too Faced Mascara up. I really do like this. I'm super excited to try that out. And then I got another mascara from Urban Decay because they were out of this at um, Ulta. And Jasmine told me that her and her friend are both obsessed with it. And it's amazing. So I was like... Okay, I'll try it. And they had it at Sephora because they're out of it at Ulta. And it is the Urban Decay Lush Lash Mascara. Again, I don't want to open it, but they probably have pictures of the brush online if you want to look at that. But the brush looked really good because um, they had like a tester out, you know? Um, and then I picked up this, and I've been wanting this for the longest time. And I was like, okay, you're getting it. And it is the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment with SPF 15. And it's just the regular one. And I got this. Um, as a mini, like, for my birthday from Sephora, and I loved it, so I decided to pick up full size, and I love it so much. It's literally amazing, and I recommend it so much. It's, like, really expensive for a chapstick, but it's seriously so good, and it'll last me a really long time, so I got that, and then I got another Benefit Crease of Scream Shadow, because I really liked, um, Birthday Suit, is that what it was called? No, Bikini Teeny, so... I think that's the one I got today. Yeah, I got birthday suit today. So it's just like this. And it looks really dark, but it's honestly not that dark. Like when you actually swatch it and put it on your eye. Again, it looks really dark, but I don't know. The tester wasn't that dark. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to cry if it's actually that dark. But hopefully it will go on like sheer and lighter. So I got that. And then I picked up two concealers, and I'm so excited Oh my god, they look so good. Okay, so I picked up the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer. Oh my god. Okay, this is in light 16, which I'm pretty sure is the lightest color. I hope it's not, because that makes me feel so like a ghost. But this is it. The packaging is flawless, and it's just like a... Like that. And it reminds me of the Hard Candy Glamouflage, but I'm sure this one's a lot better. And... I love this. I swatched it in the store and I was like, I need this. It literally, like, I put it on, like, a vein in my hand and it completely covered it up. I was like, I am getting you. So, I picked that up and then the last thing I got was another concealer that I used in the store. And I was like, I'm in love with you. And it was a really big purchase for me and it's the first thing I've ever gotten from this brand. But I picked up the YSL Radiant Touch Concealer. This is in 1.5. Like, that's the shade. I don't know. Um, but this is it. Oh, my God. The packaging is flawless. Um, you can call it YSL or Yves Saint Laurent or whatever. But you can't really read it. But it's just, like, a brush applicator. And you, like, click this. You click this little button at the bottom and then it comes out. And this is such a good concealer. Seriously, I used it in the store under my eyes. And I was like, I need you in my life. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to invest in it. Okay, whatever. I was like, I'm just going to invest in it and just get it because I've been trying to just do that lately. Like, 
I don't know. I always second guess myself, and then I totally regret it. So I was like, Rachel, just buy it. Just buy it. So I bought it. So that is everything I got at Sephora. I know it was crazy, but like I said, I've been saving for a really long time. Okay, and then I went to Forever 21. I know this haul is huge. And I picked up some things. Oh, and I also have some things from Charlotte Roots in here. Oh my god, okay. So, first I got this top, and this was $7.80. And it's a really cute, florally crop top, and I really like that. Um, then this was $8.80. And it's a really cute black one with, like, little pink floral. I'm going through this kind of fast because I have so much to talk about. Um, then I have this, and it's just, like, a blue chiffon thing. And this was $9.80. I messed up my lighting really bad, but it's just like that. And then I got this tank top because it was only $1.80, and I don't have a navy blue tank top, so I was like, why not? So I got that. And then I got this little crop shirt, and this was... I think it was $5.80, but I don't really know. Like, look at that tag. Like, I don't understand. But it's just like a black and white tribal. And then the back, ooh, ooh, the back is like that. And I think it is so, so cute. And then I got this one from Forever 21. And this is $5.80. And it's like a really cute blue and like teal, like tribal. And I thought it was really cute. And then this was only $4.80. And it's just a blue cropped little shirt. And then I got this. And this was $9.80. And it's just like, again, a little black. And it has like lace at the bottom. And this was $8.80. And it's like a rose little thing. And it has a little pocket. And it's just plain in the black back. And then I got this shirt. And this was $8.80. And this is multiple trips to Forever 21, by the way. This is not all in one trip. And this is, like, a really just pretty floral top. And then the back, it's so pretty. Look, it, like, has, like, this little crossover pattern thing. And I just thought it was really cute. And then the last thing I got from Forever 21 was 580, which I thought was a really good deal. And it's just, like, a tank top. And it's just floral. And I know that all of this is, like, tank tops and cropped. But the tank tops, I can just wear a cardigan over them. And then I can wear them to school, so... And I also got this black crop top, and it's like my favorite shirt I got, but it's not in here, so I'm hoping it's in my closet. But it's just like a plain black crop shirt. Okay, then also from Forever 21, I picked up this little cropped tank top, and this was $6.80, and I just thought it was really cute for the summer. And then I picked up this skirt, and this was only $5.80, like, if you want to take a moment, this was $5.80. And it kind of reminds me of like a circle skirt, but like... I don't know if it's actually a circle square, but it's just like this, and I don't know. I thought it was really cute, and it was super inexpensive, and I literally don't own a skirt, so I got that. And then I got this shirt, and this was $5.80, and it's just like a white crop top, but it's a little big on me, but I'm going to see if my mom can shrink it, because it's like cotton, so hopefully it'll shrink. Oh, and then I went to, like, Plato's Closet, and I got a pair of Abercrombie shorts, because I have, like, no shorts, so... They just look like that. And these were like $10, I think, so that was really good. And now I have two bags from Charlotte. This is like different trips. So I'll start off with the smaller bag, actually. Okay, so this is like shirts. Okay, so first I got a dress. And this was $18.99. And it's just like a navy blue dress. And it has a little like open, like a huge actually open back cutout. But my hair will probably cover it up, so, like, I'm not going to get in trouble for it. And it, like, cinches at the waist, and I just thought it was really cute. And it reminded me of, like, a dress from Paxson, so I was like, I'm getting you. And then I got this shirt, and this was $8.99, which was pretty cheap. And it's just, like, a mint green kind of shirt. And it has a bow and, like, a little opening, but I'm just going to wear a bandeau with it. And then I got this shirt, and I thought this was really cute with, like, black shorts. So this was $16.99. And it's just like a pink thing and has a little anchor and it has like a, I guess it's like flowers in it. I don't know, but it's really cute. And then I got a lot of shorts from Charlotte Russe, like a lot of shorts from Charlotte Russe. So these ones were $24.99 and they're just high-waisted black shorts and they're really cute. So I got those. I got these black ones that are also high-waisted. But they're just like black and they're like stretchy. 
like they're not like jean material they're just like stretchy I got three pairs of colored ones because I have no colored shorts so these were all $22.99 so I got these blue ones I got these like burgundy red ones and then I got hot pink ones because I've been needing hot pink ones they don't look that bright on camera but I promise they are okay and then I picked up a few shirts as well so this was $16.99 but I don't have the tag on it but it's just like a navy blue and white sheer chiffon with like gold buttons and it has a little pocket right here and then it has a little open back cutout. Um, then I got this shirt and this was $17.99 and I think it's really cute. It, it's like a muscle tee and it's just like a burgundy kind of color with little daisies on it and I thought this would be cute with black shorts because it has like some black around there so I thought that would be really cute. And then I got this shirt because it reminded me of Brandy Melville, and it was only $8.99, so I had to get it, and it's just little daisies. I thought it was cute. Yeah. Um, I got this shirt, which this was $17.99, but I'm pretty sure it was on sale for $12.50, and it's just a little white shirt, and it says, love what you do, do what you love, and I thought it would be cute with hot pink high-waisted shorts, so I got that. And this was $10.99, and it's just like a florally, and has like double straps, it's just like racer back, and it's really cute. And then I got this shirt, and I'm in love with this shirt, like in love with this shirt. And it's $15.99, and it's so cute. Okay, so it's like floral, crop top, really cute, and then bam, it has a bow. And it also like overlaps, you can see that it like overlaps, and it's so cute. I'm in love with it. And then I got this shirt, which I don't know why I paid for this. But it was $16.99. But I thought it would be cute on the 4th of July in the summer. Because I don't have any, like, summery, like, America shirts. So I thought this would be cute for the 4th of July. So that's why I bought it. And then the last shirt I got. I have mixed feelings about this. I don't know. I thought it was really cute in the store. But now I'm like, I don't know. But it was $11.99. And so basically it's like this, okay? But then in the front, do you see this? It, like, opens. Like, it, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's cute, I guess. I don't know. I have, like, mixed feelings about it, so. Yeah, that is everything for my haul again. It was super, super collective, and it was huge, and it's, like, I'm not going to be going shopping for the rest of my life, basically. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe and leave me some requests down below. Please don't leave me any hate. Please, I hate comments and I did buy all of this with my own money and it was super collective seriously I did not buy all of this in one trip that would literally be crazy so I hope you guys enjoyed I love you so much my Instagram and ask and everything will be linked in the down bar so yeah I love you guys so much have a good day bye